Hi, this is Nancy. Thank you so much for tuning back in. I want to say God bless you. And today I want to give a quick word from the Lord about all this craziness that is going on. Um, you can look left and right and you see different things going on in the world today. So uh, right now I just want to be of encouragement to God's children. Uh, we have the pandemic going on. We have all this crazy weather going across the United States right now. And, you know, probably in other parts of the world, too. I am from the United States, so that is honestly all that I know about right now as far as the weather goes. I haven't uh, researched and gotten into the other countries and their weather to see what it's like. You can comment down below and let me know of how things are going in your neck of the woods. But... Um, I want to want to give a word of encouragement over all of these things that are taking place because I know for a lot of people this is bringing up fears it is bringing up chaos in your life and uh, you're just not focusing like you ordinarily would so I want to encourage you to get back on the path with the Lord and focus on what his word really says and believe it with all your heart because we are not called to see our circumstances. Yes, we should be aware of what's going on around us. We've talked about that in the last couple of videos that we've done um, with God's Word. But uh, we are to be set apart. We are to be different. We are to keep our feet planted on the Word of God because it is the truth. And that is what is going to carry us through. So uh, regardless of what is going on around us, we choose to look to the prize, and that is Jesus Christ. And so um, I know that all of these things, you know, could be upsetting to a lot of people. There has been hail storms in different parts of the country. There have been uh, tornadic activity. We are expecting some tornadic activity this coming weekend, Easter weekend. So, um, you know, people around here are preparing for that. We, uh, we had a little bit of wind activity a few weeks ago whenever um, the tornadoes hit in Arkansas and surrounding areas. And so, you know, that's something that a lot of people are getting preoccupied with right now when we really just need to focus on the Lord. Yes, we need to have common sense. Yes, we need to prepare. Yes, we need to, you know... Um, take um, safety measures, sorry. Uh, we need to take safety measures when possible. But you know, in the end, it's all in God's hands and we need to trust in Him more than trusting in a shelter, trusting in this, trusting in that. We need to trust in the Lord to take care of us as His children. So let's go to God's Word in the book of Isaiah chapter 54 verse 9 through 17 we have brought this word before in a different light and today i want to look at it uh, in a way of protecting us over all these circumstances that are going on right now because i know i know uh, a lot of you have been so worried you've stayed up at night and during that time that you're staying up at night though give that to the lord give that to the lord cast all your cares upon him so that he can give you peace in your heart because nothing in this world can give you peace like Christ Jesus. So go with me now. If you have your Bible, we're going to read in Isaiah chapter 54, verse 9 through 17. And today I'll be reading from the King James Version. And the Word of God reads in the name of the Father and the Son and for guidance of the Holy Spirit. For this is as the waters of Noah unto me. For as I have sworn that the waters of Noah should no more go over the earth, so have I sworn that I would not be wroth with thee, nor rebuke thee. For the mountains shall depart, and the hills be removed, but my kindness shall not depart from thee. And that's talking about God's children. That's our promise as well. So, neither shall the covenant of my peace be removed. That peace in Christ Jesus, that's what we were talking about. Saith the Lord that have mercy on thee. Verse 11 says, O thou afflicted, tossed with tempest, and not comforted. Com comforted sorry. Behold, I will lay thy stones with fair colors, and lay thy foundations with sapphires. 
and I will make thy windows of a gates, and thy gates of carbuncles, and all thy borders of pleasant stones, and all thy children shall be taught of the Lord, and great shall be the peace of thy children. In righteousness shalt thou be established. Thou shalt be far from oppression. Thou shalt not fear, and from terror, for it shall not come near thee. Praise the Lord. He's watching out for us. Verse 15 says, Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for thy sake. Look at how he takes care of our enemies for us. We don't have to fight that fight. The Lord has already won in our favor. And he's departing that favor to us. Verse 16 says, Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. No weapon, listen carefully, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. Hallelujah. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. I'm going to read that one more time. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. If you are a born again believer and you are serving the Lord with all your heart, this message is for you. You are covered by the blood of Jesus. The powerful blood of Jesus. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Amen. Hallelujah. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. I didn't say that. It said, saith the Lord. The Lord says that to you, not me. I'm just reading God's word to you. Your promise is with the Lord. The Lord has promised to take care of you. The Lord has promised protection for you and all of your household. Because of your faith in Christ Jesus, he has covered you with his blood. And you are protected. You are protected by the blood of the Lamb. You have that blood on your doorpost, so to speak. We don't have to slaughter a lamb and put that blood on our doorpost literally because the lamb has already been slain. Christ Jesus, worthy is the lamb that was slain for us. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord is with us. It says in verse 14, In righteousness shalt thou be established. Are you established in righteousness today? Do you have the Lord living in your life today? Are you following his word are you guarding it in your heart today? I pray that you are. Thou shalt be far from oppression, for thou shalt not fear. And from terror, it shall not come near thee. Wow. Wow. At the promises of the Lord. God is so good. And he continues to be good to those who keep his commandments. The Lord is a loving God. He has promised his protection over his people. Do you know him today? Do you know his loving kindness today? If you don't know him today, I would like to pray with you so that you could invite the Lord Jesus Christ to come into your life today to save you, to redeem you from your sins, so that you may have eternal life with him in heaven. If you have slipped away from the ways of the Lord, you haven't been keeping his commandments, you have fallen away, backslidden, so to speak, I'd like to pray for you as well. It's the same prayer. To invite the Lord back into your life and to forgive you from your sin. Would you just bow your head with me right at wherever you are? I want to pray with you right now so that you can have the peace of Christ Jesus. This is no magical prayer. This needs to come from your heart. Asking the Lord to come in. If you pray this prayer with me, I would like for you to just send us a comment. Let us know. So we can pray with you further. So that the Lord will give you strength to continue on your walk. 
Dear, dear God, I come to you now as a sinner. I recognize the error of my ways. But I ask you to come into my heart and to forgive me for my sin. I believe in your son, Jesus. I believe that he died on the cross over 2,000 years ago. But he didn't just die. He rose again on the third day so that I would have life and have life more abundantly with you. Come into my life. Save me. Change me. Transform me. And redeem me for your sake. In Jesus' name, amen. If you have prayed that prayer with us, whether it be for um, the first time for repentance or whether you are rededicating your life, reconciling with the Lord, we'd like to hear from you if you would share that with us down below. And um, we look forward to communicating with you and praying over you. And if you haven't joined us, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We will be bringing more messages soon. And thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you for your time. God bless you and keep you safe. Amen.